When confronted with horrific domestic violence homicides, it's understandably common for us men to say how appalled we'd be if that violence were inflicted upon our wife, our sisters or our daughters. We've all heard men say these words in the wake of yet another woman killed, the names of whom come across my desk all too regularly. What we don't say enough is how appalled we'd be if our brothers, our sons or our mates had caused that death or injury to someone they claimed to love. I say this because of one unavoidable fact. Overwhelmingly, the perpetrators are men. On average, one woman is murdered every nine days in Australia by her current or former partner, with most killed within 90 days of the end of the relationship. If men are responsible for the lion's share of abuse, why is it that we simultaneously carry out the smallest proportion of advocacy and leadership? The overrepresentation of women rests on them not just as victim survivors, also rests on them as advocates, experts and frontline service providers. I've met countless extraordinary women in my role as minister. Last week, for example, I visited South Coast Domestic Violence Services all of which were staffed by women with impressive knowledge, compassion and unwavering dedication. Turning our attention to male behaviour, male intervention and male prevention, that spotlight can make a substantial difference. You can refer men who may be using violence to support and counselling services. Let them know there's no shame in seeking help. Drag down the barriers around mental health, drug or alcohol abuse. Call out disrespectful attitudes. Cultural change can be slow. It can take a long time. But that's all the more reason that we need to act. For every man hearing this, the time to act is now. For confidential advice, support and referrals related to domestic and family violence, contact 1800RESPECT. That's 1800-737-732 or the Men's Referral Service, 1300 766 491.